Good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday, and this is Miss Amy. And today, uh, we are going to make a cute little bug craft. I thought this was so adorable when I saw it. And so, I wanted to make these with you. Now, you're going to need a few things, okay? So, uh, you're going to need some strips, two strips of paper. Uh, you can cut the long ways or the, um, or this, the other ways uh, on the paper, but you want to have two strips that are about the same size. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue them together like this, okay? So... I'm going to show you how to do it. You're also, if you have it, if you have craft wire, that's great because the legs and the antenna are made of craft wire. But if you don't, I have cut a thin strip. So what I did is just cut a thin little strip like this of paper and then I cut for the antenna and then I cut it in half for the legs. So that's how I make the legs. Okay, same thing like that. And then antenna, I wanted to make even just a little bit narrower so I cut it again that because they're a little tiny antenna. Okay, so, and then I fold it in a V like that, and those are my antennas. So that's how you can do it if you don't have craft wire. If you have craft wire, do it with craft wire because it's super fun, but it's super cute without it. Okay, so you're gonna take a piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half and on the fold, you are going to draw wing shapes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut them out like that. And so it doesn't, it connects in the middle, okay? So that it doesn't go all the way. Because then when you open your wing up, it's still connected, okay? Which is what you want. And they don't have to be the same because you're going to use two sets of wings because a damselfly or a dragonfly have two sets of wings. So you want to make sure that you have two sets of wings. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of glue in the center and you want a marker or something, uh, and I'm gonna cut this one in half because I wanna angle them down like that. Okay, so there's two wings. Okay, here's another set of wings that are a little bit different. So these, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some glue in the center and I am going to glue them like that. Okay, so here are some other wings. So they're very different, but both of them are just fine. So now that you've got your um, two pieces glued, what you're going to do is you're going to fold and then fold, and then fold, and fold. So alternating on the same side. Don't flip it or anything. You just zigzag back and forth, okay? Every other side. And this is gonna create the body, and you can turn it like that, of your bug. Okay, so this is super easy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on the top so that it 
glues it together. Okay. And then I have my springy double. Okay. So that's my little dragonfly body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, fold these over so that you can see. So if you're using the wire, you want to fold over your little hands, okay, on your bug, okay, and fold it in half like that. Okay, so you can see that. I'm gonna do the same thing, same exact thing with the legs. I'm gonna fold it up that fold it up and my feet out like that this is a little bit wider okay so and then antenna same thing but it's tinier so I want to make sure that it's little like that and I have hot glue heating, so make sure you ask permission to use the hot glue gun. But you can use craft glue. Um, it works great. Uh, regular Elmer's glue, like Elmer's school glue, works. But you just have to wait longer for it to happen. So um, there is that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to do this one really quick here okay and then you'll be able to see both of them okay so here we go again all right so i'm gonna zigzag back and forth if i'm going forward then you gotta make sure that you don't flip it over because then it doesn't zigzag right so zigzag back and forth until the whole thing is sealed. This is creating the body of your bug. And then we're gonna use, like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on there. Glue it together. You can pull it up a little bit like that. All right, so now, uh, head. Okay, so I have a round little circle, same size. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a little round circle. This is going to be my head for my bug. I'm going to draw a cute little face, little nose, little eyes. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put some decoration on like a patchwork little bug, like that, just to give it a little decoration like that. Okay, here I'm going to do some like gossamer wings, like bug wings, like that. Okay. Okay, so two different ways. Okay, like more like um, veins, and this is more like a little patchwork idea. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use my hot glue gun. I am going to put my wings on like that and put arms in okay, like that. So there's my little arms and my wings. Okay, there's my arms, there's my wings. Okay, now I'm gonna do little feet. The bottom, like that. Okay, 
there. There's little feet. Okay, and these are the paper ones. And then here is my antenna. And then so I'm going to put my antenna on like that. And then I'm going to glue my little head right on there. And then I have a piece of string. So that I can put a little thing on the back like this. Just like that. And there you have the one with the paper. Okay. And then here is the one with the wire. Hugs to you. Hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Hope you try this out.